Welcome back to another video. My name is Derek and today we're going to be taking a look at an iPhone 13 Pro Max that's got an issue with Face ID. Face ID seems to work occasionally, but whenever the phone is bumped, it stops working. I'm going to show you what that looks like and how we fix it. Let's get into the video. Okay. All right. So we've got this iPhone. 13 Pro Max. I'm going to go through and quickly set this thing up. I'm going to set up the Face ID in the settings. I want to show what it's doing. Okay. So when we go into the settings to do Face ID, to set up Face ID, we'll hit Get Started. When we look here, it'll say position your face within the frame, move up, move a little lower, move a little higher, and it's not wanting to register my face. All right, now if I give it a, a flick, we go back in, get started, there's a chance that it'll work. So what is this and how do we fix it? So let's turn the phone off. Actually, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna actually show one more thing. We're gonna turn it back on. Okay, we're gonna go set up a face ID again. Let's set it up, get started. Let's see if it'll work. And it wants to right now. Okay, but if I tap the phone like that, and we try to set it up, you can see it's no longer working and it's trying to say move higher, move lower, a little lower. Okay, I'm going lower, going higher, it's not gonna work, right? So if I flick this, all of a sudden, oh look, we're back to reading the face. Okay, and so what's gonna happen is the phone will hit a tap like that and all of a sudden the face ID will no longer work. So it's gonna go back and forth depending on if you flick it or not to get it to work. So let's fix it. We'll go ahead and turn off the phone. We've got the panel lobes out. We're going to stick this here in the jig. And we'll start to lift, pop the screen off. Add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. And there we got some separation. There, it's lifting up and we'll open it up as much as we need to. That's probably good. Just connect this guy. Okay, let's pop the screen off. I think I'm the first one in here from what I can tell. This is nice, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take out the brackets and then we'll disconnect the battery and we'll disconnect the display and we'll take off the proximity sensor shield, take off that shield and disconnect the proximity sensor. And now we can set the screen aside. We need to remove the ear speaker. I'll take out the bracket for the rear camera. Oh, I forgot there's a screw there. It's starting to bend the bracket. Whoops. Disconnect the camera. So there's a little, there's a somewhat annoying standoff screw here, but there's a trick. You can put in like a Penelo screw driver and it'll actually unscrew the standoff. Take off the standoff screw that's under that bracket. Pop out the SIM tray so we can move the logic board enough. Now, if you're not in the US, you can basically remove the logic board because there's no 5G antenna, but this model, I can't just do that. So I'm just going to avoid that. And we're going to lift out the speaker now by pulling the board off just enough where I'm not messing with the 5G antenna, but I can get the ear speaker out. Now you could do it this other ways by taking out the entire battery so that you can access the 5G antenna to take out the board properly. But who wants to do that extra work? Okay, so now the earpiece will come out. So now, <laughs> and finally, the uh, this piece comes out. And this is what we're gonna be taking a look at. Here's the problematic component. That is what fixes it when we flick it. Uh, and we'll go and see this under the microscope. Okay, so I'm gonna take some captain tape here and we're gonna protect the camera lenses from getting dirty. So the issue is in the actual dot projector here. There's a component inside here, a little cylinder inside the shaft here that gets loose and we got to secure it again so just so i can hold on to the cameras without messing with without getting my fingerprints on them we're gonna do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom down in on here we're gonna create a little window here okay right. go in like right here over maybe a little higher than that down here and maybe like to right here like that so you can see where i'm gonna go at we're going to try to carve down into there, not too deep, but a deep enough that we're going to be able to kind of peel the plastic back. Here we'll make a score line, and here, there, there, and I'm going to try to dig in and peel, peel up the plastic. Just like that. 
There are other ways to do this, like the little Dremel, but they're, I find them to be messy. I don't want anything, any remnants of the plastic or dust to go flying anywhere. It's really not that hard to dig into this plastic. Like It's really soft and malleable. Okay, you can already see it's uh, free floating in there still. The component we we're trying to get at. See that cylinder down inside? All right, so when I tap it, you can see, give it a flick that that cylinder moves around. I actually see it better if I nudge it here, right? So what we're trying to find is where it naturally wants to sit, which is kind of towards the roof a little bit. And we're gonna glue it in place there through this little window that we've created. So let's zoom down on in there and focus. So I like where it is there. When you flick it, when you flick it, it kind of naturally wants to sit in a certain spot. That's basically where we want it to stay. If it's uh, fallen back down like this or slightly off to the side, that's when we have the face ID issues. And when we go to flick it, it pops it back up. Normally, it's not popping it back up all the way into position. So that's where we want it to stay. And that's where we want, that's how we're gonna have face ID fixed. So, all right, so I've got some UV curing adhesive that we're gonna use for this. You can really use any adhesives. It depends on whether or not you want to wait for it to dry or not. You don't need a crazy amount. We just need to have something that secures it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pipe in. We're just going to put in a small amount of glue, just like that. I don't want it too much. Now what I'm going to do is gently spread this glue around just to make sure, without nudging the cylinder out of place, just to make sure it's making good contact. And then we're going to take a UV light and we're going to cure it. All right, so now that that's cured, you can see when I go to touch it, it's solid. There is a little gap here that I will close up um, with more glue, just, just to kind of give it some, some type of resistance to dust or something. But we're going to test it first to see if this works. So we'll go ahead and install it back in the phone real quick and test it. All right, so we'll go ahead and get some of these flex cables out of the way connecting them up. We'll get everything kind of connected up and we'll peel off our little protectors for the cameras. Grab our display and we'll connect it up along with the proximity sensor. Plug in the battery connector and we'll go ahead and turn this guy on. And then now let's go set up Face ID and we'll see if it wants to set up Face ID. And there it goes. Yeah. And what we can do as well is you can see if I tap the phone now, that would typically have killed it. Let's even kind of set this in the screen inside the phone a little bit. Let's go and set it up again. And there it goes, just like that. All right, yeah. And then if we power it off, oh, I guess I forgot to set it up all the way. Let me set it one more time. Let's can first, set up later, do all zeros use anyway okay so let's see if it unlocks and look it unlocks yep unlock yep and let's give it a tap and unlock yep we're all good to go money all right so there you go as you can see the solution is quite simple it does take a little bit of skill to properly cut out the window and secure the interior lens for the dot projector, but hopefully this has given you an idea of how to do it. If you found this content useful, make sure to smash the like button and leave me a comment if there's something that you'd like to see in a future video. Thanks a ton for watching and we'll see you in the next video.